Dollar and my Fisher challenge. Okay, so the dollar store has fishing lures. We got a, uh, what is this? Crawfish, inline spinners, soft fishing bait, a little swim bait, crawler harness, jig heads. More inline spinners, spoons. Okay, so we're gonna do a dollar store fishing challenge. I'm gonna take this jerk bait, segmented jerk bait, crank bait, and this little jerk bait here. What else have we got? All, they're all the same color. Chartreuse. Okay, so we're gonna take Alright, I got Take those two. Okay, so with these lures here, I'm gonna do a dollar store fishing challenge. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so we're we're back here in the water, and uh, like I said, we're gonna be doing a dollar store lure challenge. First up, a little square bill. Now these lures have original hooks. I haven't changed anything on them, so. There we go. First cast, hopefully he stays on. Because these hooks are not quality hooks. They're just dollar store hooks. And hopefully this fish stays on. Bring him in. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a little bass. Here we go on the dollar store. On the dollar store lure. Okay. Try to get the hooks off this guy. So I don't hook myself again. There we go guys. A nice little bass. Dollar store lure challenge. Crankbait. That was one. I think we got three more lures to go. Let's get the nice release on this guy. There you go buddy. Okay, so since our first lure got us a fish, I'm a square wheel. Well, it's not a square wheel, it's just a crankbait. Let's tie on the next lure. We have, I have a lot of confidence on this one here. Because it looks like the, uh, it looks like the jerkbait I use a lot. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna cast again to the same spot. Cast on top of a lily, so that's not. I'll get it out of the lilies. Okay, so the jerk bait didn't produce anything for me so far, so I'm just gonna switch to the inline spinner for now with a little rooster tail. I'm gonna give it a few casts, and if it doesn't produce anything, I'll switch to the jerk bait one more time. Continue from there. Ooh, guys, look at that, look at that. Look at that turtle. Look at that turtle. I hope the camera can catch that turtle. That thing is huge. 
That is so cool. Say cheese. We got distracted by a turtle, guys. Okay, guys, so the only modification I'm adding to this dollar store lure is the spinner bait. I'm gonna put a trailer hook on it. This is the only one that's gonna get a modification. You got my drag tools, maybe? Came off. Okay, honestly guys, I think this challenge is gonna be a bust. Um, there's no wind at all. The water is super calm. Um, I'm throwing a spinnerbait. As you all know, spinnerbaits are known for, uh, to be thrown on windy days. A little bit of cloud coverage, so the sun's not beating down on the lake. Now, the the thing about this spinner right here, it's just dull. It's painted, but the silver side is really dull, and this plastic feels really cheap. So, I'm interested. So I'm interested to see if uh, if I'm gonna get any followers with this. Let's find out. Okay, so I'm gonna take off the spinner bait. This thing seems so ugly. It's a little bit better. Pretty ugly swim bait if you ask me. Look at this thing guys. This is a terrible crankbait. Jointed body crankbait. The line tie is on the uh, on the nose of the crankbait itself, not on the bill. It's just terrible. It dives to like a foot underwater. Sometimes it swims straight, sometimes it doesn't. Otherwise it's swimming sideways. It's just a terrible crankbait. Well, what else do you get for, what is it, like two dollars? And mind you, two Canadian dollars. So if you would have bought this at a dollar M in the USA, it would have been like a dollar fifty maybe. Dollar conversion. It's just a terrible crankbait. So yesterday I went fishing with my friends to a lake close to my house and I caught my new personal best bass. Uh, 3.6 pounds. I was super happy about it. I caught it flipping. Uh, I, I was using a uh, Strike King. What was it? Strike King Rage, Rage Craw. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to attach a picture of that right now. It would have been nice to get that on film. I wasn't filming that day. It's because I didn't... Uh, I didn't think I was going to have a good day or anything, but... I should have. This would have made a good video. Okay guys, I'm going to end this dollar store lure challenge right here. Uh, we only caught one fish. I wasn't expecting to catch a lot. Uh, you know, the baits aren't expensive. Uh, they had terrible act. Well, one of them had pretty good action, but the others I'm not convinced. Uh, low quality lures, two, three dollars each. And that's Canadian dollars. Uh, American, it would have been like a dollar maybe at the dollar store, dollar fifty. 
So guys, thanks for watching. If anybody here wants the lures I used today, leave me a comment. I'm gonna wait two, three weeks. If somebody says send them, uh, I want them, I'll send you a message. You, you give me your shipping address and I'll just ship them to you and they're yours, okay guys? Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys later.